what's going on guys let's look at this problem right here here this question is asking v is equal to x square y times z plus 3 v find electric field at 3 4 negative 6 and the second part is asking the charge within the cube x is 0 to 1 y is 0 to 1 z is 0 to 1 okay now let's look at the first part first part is asking for electric field and we have the potential provided so e can be i mean e can be calculated using negative del v okay negative del v del is basically parcel derivative so we take the parcel derivative of given v with respect to x with respect to y with respect to y and with respect to z okay now let's see what we get negative the given v is x square y z plus 3 so first we take the derivative with respect to x so x square y z plus 3 and dx in the ax direction plus dv actually not v instead of v i have to plug this v function that's given by x square y z plus 3 divided by dy in the ay direction plus d z is like uh, instead of v again x square plus x square y z plus 3 divided by dz in the az direction okay that's it for this one now let's go ahead and find the derivative and let's see what we get okay if you simplify if you take the derivative of this one that's gonna give you okay let's simplify all together like uh, all together and if you take the derivative final pro final results will be negative 2xy z plus 3 in the a ax direction plus actually not plus minus minus x square minus x square z plus 3 in the a y direction okay and then let's put a y outside then we get negative x square y in the a z direction so this is the simplified form like after you take the derivative you are going to get this one right we get negative because uh, we have a negative del, del v so I multiply everything by negative that's way in that way we got negative for everything okay now we have the value 3 4 is negative 6 all we have to do is just plug it for x y z values and if you calculate this one finally you are going to end up with 72 a x plus okay 72 a x plus 27 a y minus 36 az voltage per meter so this is the one we are getting after we plug in the values okay so this is our e now we have done the first part now let's look at the second part second part is asking the charge within the cube 0 0 to x is 0 to 1 y is 0 to 1 z is 0 to 1 okay now to find this one we can use another formula let's get rid of this one <clears throat> okay so to find the char charge within a cube we can use this equation that is given by rho v is equal to del d okay del d is equivalent to epsilon naught del e we already know e this is our e we found out so epsilon naught times del e is we take the derivative with respect to x with respect to y with respect to c so this is going to be d let's put d in both ways correct okay let's keep it as it d x e x then plus d y e y plus d z e z okay now we have this function just we just have to plug it right here okay e at okay this is 
now we had to see x y component x y z component mm. okay this is not the list this is after we plug in the values right so we shouldn't plug the values because bef before we plug in the values we derived an expression that was this one e is equal i write that one on top e is equal to two negative two x y in the previous question we derived this one two x y z plus three a x minus minus x square z plus three a y minus x square y a z so this was the expression derived from the first equation after we derived this one what we did was we did we plugged this 3 for negative 6 and we got this value so we had to use that one this one to find out what is this del e is okay now let's go ahead and plug the values so first we have epsilon naught and then partial derivative with respect to x e x now we have x this one that is negative 2xy z plus 3 negative 2xy z plus 3 and then we have to take the derivative with respect to y e y that one is y component that is x square z plus 3 a y so let's put z plus 3 right here and then plus partial derivative with respect to z here we have x square y okay x square y so from this one you can already see for the second part we don't have any y so this is going to be zero and for this one we don't have any z so this is going to be zero so this is the only derivative we have to take and if you do, do the derivative you are going to get epsilon naught 2 y z plus 3 z plus 3 and this negative okay z plus 3 and others are going to be 0 0 so finally we will end up with rho v is equal to negative 2 epsilon naught y z plus 3 so but the question is the charge within the cube we just calculated the, the charge but we had to calculate within the cube so in order to do that Mm, this is actually volume charge density okay volume charge density now to fight the charge within the cube what we have to do is we have to do the integration in the volume and we have the region available x is going from 0 to 1 y is going from 0 to 1 z is going from 0 to 1 so we can plug the integral let's go ahead and do that let's get rid of this part okay now let's continue that one on top now q is equal to integral v rho v this is the rho v we derived right now rho v dv and we know the region everything is going from 0 to 1 0 to 1 0 to 1 and we just plug the function that is negative 2 epsilon naught y z plus 3 then we do the dx dy dz with respect to x with respect to y with respect to z after we do the integration we are going to end up with something like that 2 negative 2 epsilon naught 1 y square divided by 2 going from 0 to 1 and then uh, z square divided by 2 plus 3z going from 0 to 1 and after that we just have to calculate this one negative 2 epsilon naught is what 8.85 times 10 to the power of minus 12 times half if you plug 1 for z that's going to be half and then multiply it by 7 by 2 okay finally if you calculate this one you're going to get negative 30.95 times 10 to the power of minus 12 farad hmm charge is charge supposed to be coulomb right coulomb and then uh, since this is 10 to the power of minus 12 this is going to be 
pico so negative 30.95 pico coulomb and that's going to be our final answer i hope this helps thanks for watching